Let me do the crispy VOD review. Uh, all right, uh, let's start Crispy's VOD review. The Ram Lethal versus Ram Lethal. Yeah, Para in here. Para plays very similar to Josh when I've been playing him. I think one time I actually uh, one time I actually mixed them up. Oh, the left one. Ooh. Mm -mm. One thing I uh, noticed about you, Crispy, I'll kind of point it out in a bit when I see it more. That was a nice run out the corner. I don't know. I just missed 2D there, that's fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, we'll kind of go back and watch some stuff. Nice anti air. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice conversion. Uh. Oh, nice combo. Para. Alright, yeah, I notice you in these situations a lot, uh, Crispy. Um, it's a little more apparent here. Um, you kind of spend a lot of the game, uh, especially when I'm playing you, um, you spend a lot of the game not putting out any hitboxes. You watch your character, you don't put out a hitbox there, you backdash, you lifts, you don't put a hitbox out again, you kind of back off, which is fine, but then you kind of get like pretty close. Uh, then you start putting out hitboxes, which is good. But in general, uh, you don't really put out enough hitboxes, especially with like exactly right here. Right here, you jump out. Right here, you jump over him, you land, he whiffs 2k. This should kind of be a hitbox coming out, especially since you kind of like already got like the air dash over, not really expecting it. You should definitely be putting out a little more hitboxes. You're probably just a little scared of what the opponent is trying to do. But um, when I play you, I kind of just like, okay, I'm gonna start just running in um, because it is, uh, I can. Uh, but in general, that, that that was really good to get out of ram pressure. And then um, your block string pressure just needs a little work here. Um, I would never do RC. I never do Daru here unless you RC. Um, this is like what minus minus seven. If I'm not wrong, I think it's minus seven. Um, so if he's fast enough, he could close slash you. I think I could be wrong if it's minus seven or not. But either way, you get knocked down with 2k 2d, even if it's not, um, minus 7. Um. So just, just be aware. You could use, like, yeah, you could, this, this could easily be substituted for, like, you know, I, as I always say, like, after the close slash, always try going to 2s. You just have better routes after, after close slash with 2s. Once you're into 2H, you're kind of committed to flip kick, which is pretty bad, or like a really far Rekka 1, which they're not going to respect Rekka 2, uh, because they'll probably just FD Rekka 1 and you'll whiff Rekka 2. Um, or you could Daru, but again, like you're going to be super minus. Um, get a solid combo with RC8 dash or close slash into dust. Yeah, you can. You get you get a whole you get a whole combo. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. Uh, I'm I'm gonna create a lobby after this, Skylar, and we could play. I got the crack Bridget to to hop in. But yeah, like, like th this is what I'm talking about again. You kind of spend this whole round area, like 10 seconds, not putting out one hitbox, and you just lose your turn. I got that combo unlocked. I don't do that combo because I fuck it up too much, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, exactly. That's why you don't want to do the Daru. I would, I would definitely take that habit out. Um, unless, unless you're trying to RC afterwards, I would definitely take the Daru habit out. It's just not good. Okay. I could see. Well, we don't really have to worry about safe jumps at this level for you right now, but um, just keep in mind that like after after this throw right here. After this throw right here, Ram has a hundred meter. Just safe jumping is is pretty uh is pretty uh pretty good just to avoid just to make them waste a hundred meter if they want to get out. Um, but it's fine. You don't have to worry about safe jumps, but just note that it should it should be coming up like you know as as you get better and as you want to deal with reversals a little better. Um, nice. I like. Nice pickup. Yeah, I think your offense overall has gotten a lot better. I just think, yeah, you might have a little bad habits with the Daru. And then, like, in general, I just, I'd like a little more aggression in the neutral. Definitely, you're, you're Ram. Don't be afraid to press your buttons. Especially, you know. And uh, just, a, just a general GG tip. If you're ever up too high, do never burst. It's just it's just never gonna work. The burst hitbox is more like up and wide than down. <laughs> so um in general just just try avoiding it, I guess. Dual one. If you're up way too high, definitely definitely avoid burst. I forgot what they used to call it. I want to say Days Burst, but I could be wrong. It might not be called Days Burst. Um. <laughs> just another thing you could do. Uh, if you just mash forward and P, your character will launch off the wall this way, and you basically get like a free get out. Um, if so whenever you're stuck against the wall. Just mash forward and P. Uh, you don't even have to mash P, I don't think. Maybe you just mash forward. I could be wrong though. I mash forward P. Nice <laughs> grab. I think your defense is like really good. You're really patient, which is fine. I know you probably don't understand how to play the. Yeah, you just hold forward. <laughs> I oh, I always just hold forward and P because I'm like, you know what? I'm coming out with a button. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, it's Skylar. Skylar that is. Uh, he said it was uh, hold forward. <laughs> Again, like, you know, like, you're, you're doing 2H here, 2S, you won't whiff, and then you could cancel into, like, sword throw, and then, like, you're fine from this position. If you sword throw here, they kind of have to play, like, oh, I could run out, but then you could 2K them, or they could jump out, but then you could jump P them. So don't be afraid to not, like, make a full commit decision in the corner there, because, like, you go straight to 2H, which commits really hard. Because if you don't do anything, you know, you're kind of screwed because it's super negative. And if you, um, and you can't really wreck a, and then, because you're too far, and then, yeah, so that you, when, once you throw, once, once you throw sword there, if you 2H, it's a lot better. And then you can just play, like, the sword game in the corner rather than play, uh, rather than just, like, commit to an option. Like it's okay to throw a sword and do nothing. Like you don't, you're not forced to do something when you throw a sword. Or like in general, like when you get someone in a corner, you're not forced to do something. Doing doing nothing is 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 just as good. But like you know, keeping the space, you never want to give up the space. You definitely want to like react how they're gonna get out the corner. If that makes sense. I 
God, my Discord's popping off. I don't know what's happening. I think that's a put in. Oh, the IB. Yeah, in general, I, I've kind of seen you uh, contest a little bit like this. Uh, I would think a little bit harder on how you contest from certain rages. I mean, you contest with 5k here, which again against Ram is kind of it's kind of like um, you know she's gonna press forward slash, so you kind of wanna like either 6p there or even just dash block forward. Um, you've been contesting like with kind of smaller buttons. Um, from from far ranges against characters like Ram, which are definitely gonna get you a little a little killed. Oh my God, what's happening with this bird? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, just just make sure you know. So like, so here. Boom, you did this. This pressure's fine, whatever. Um, all right, right here, yep. Right there. You're going to close slash, you kind of have to be ready. Like, okay, if I go to close slash, what are my options? So you press 2S, and then, and then, and, and then, and then you press heavy slash, and you kind of have to know at this point that you're a little too far for Rekka. So just keeping that in mind of like, okay, if I press these sequence of buttons, where is my character going to end up? This should have been sword throw after heavy slash. Uh, you probably have this in like muscle memory, but I kind of start thinking like, uh, okay, if I hit this guy, kind of what can I convert into? Um, I think you are building a lot of... <laughs> oh, that's the video. Okay. Uh, um, I think you are building a little bit of bad habits uh, with like muscle memory. Um, I think you're like, okay, I just need to go into Rekka, or I just need to, um, or I just need to do this one thing when, when you could just, uh, I think this is against Exodus, right? Yeah. Um, when, like, you know, like, it's the 2S problem, like, you could, you, you, you could, you could, you probably, like, must have memoried that, but I think, I think you probably noticed yourself getting into situations. Nice, nice getting out the corner. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think you've noticed yourself getting into bad situations off of, like, those Darus and those two H's that, um, yeah, exactly. Mm, I'm not saying, like, I mean, like, yeah. So just, just trying to get, I think trying to get some of those stuff out of your muscle memory, like 2H, and, um, kind of just thinking about what strings you're gonna use are gonna be two big things for you, and then just in general, like you know, play, play, playing neutral. I think I think you do. I think you fall into the habit of like, oh, this guy is a scary person. I'm gonna. I don't want to press a button. I fall into this too, but he whiffed two very laggy moves in front of you, and your the response was backdash. So like, you just really have to be aware of like, okay, I need to press some buttons in these matchups. Um, even if it is just Ram versus Ram, but like, you know, just, just being aware that someone, again, like, yeah, the, the high burst, but just being aware that someone is, you know, just because someone's better than you doesn't mean you can't, like, play, play the game versus them. Yeah, it, it, it looks like just nerves. Um, it does look like just nerves. Like, you might just be scared to, but yeah, just... Just had, you know, like, their, their character still falls under the same constraints as your character does, even no, mat no matter what. Because, uh, like, I'm not, I'm not, like, you know, like, you know, you you were one interaction away from winning, winning the round here, right? Like, if you just punish Exodus for whiffing, like, five buttons in your face right there, that could have been the whole round, you know? So, like, just keeping that in mind, like, oh, I could... If I, if I just take advantage of more situations where people are not doing anything, especially when you're, I mean, you're running around in neutral and you're playing the neutral well, in in like a, in a movement standpoint wise, but but one, but you're not pressing any buttons, 
Especially when people are just whiffing in your face. But overall, I think I think I think this video definitely shows you've improved a lot. You're definitely getting more damage off of combos. Definitely playing a lot better defense. Like good neutral buttons, like you know, uh, far slash, 2K, and, and stuff like that. 2S. Those are those are good neutral buttons. You know, 5K. Just but just buttons that will you know that your your opponent has to block. The song kind of goes hard. Oh, yeah, that got ugly real quick. Nah, I mean it's Exodus, right? So Exodus is I, I I actually expected you to lose a lot harder against Exodus. So when, when you're when you're like, you know, doing pretty well and not getting perfected every round, I'm 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 pretty I'm pretty impressed. I mean like shit. Exodus at, catches me sleeping one day and I, I'm I'm perfected hundred percent. Like, this is way I'm just gonna keep pointing out just so you know like how it's affecting you this is way too long to decide to press a button this is way too long <laughs> way too long <laughs> honestly not too bad, not too bad. I'll just take out my trusty notepad and then we'll, we'll run some games. Uh, uh, press more buttons and and more buttons and neutral. Uh, I don't think I spelled neutral right, uh, but it's okay. You guys get it. Um, I think once you start doing this, you'll start realizing what buttons are good and not good in neutral. Um, I could tell you the good ones. I mean, it's like you know, far slash two s. Um, f like, like if you're, if you're really from a far, 2k, 5k, if you're really from afar, you know, um, 5h is really good from afar, afar. Um, but these are good, like running, 2k's, um, standing, 5k's, like standing 5k's for walling out, 5h from afar is for walling out, um, 2s, uh, this, this, this is kind of like walling. You're kind of like catching people's, um, kind of catching people's approaches, and then you go know, far slash is your far slash, right? Um, yeah, you really want to press more buttons just to take space. Like you're just giving people too much room to play the game. Um, um, block string routings. Um, I have like my YouTube video on this, so you could always just like go back and watch that whenever. But like, yeah, like no, no two H, all the time. Um, or 2s into sword throw or 2s to wreck up and um, once you start doing this you'll kind of start realizing that like you do two, uh, you know close slash 2s sword throw especially in the corner now you kind of put them in a guessing situation and you do 2s into Rekka, you also put them in a guessing situation uh, especially if they're not I being Rekka. Once you get into IB Rekka, it kind of gets a little more difficult. But, you know, like, we, we'll deal with that another day. <laughs> uh, burst. Do not burst high. Do not burst high. Um, and then um, just, just bad habits. Daru on block. Uh, not hit confirming. Um, other than that, yeah, I think your defense are pretty good. Um, yeah, if you go back and watch the block string tutorial, I think you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about when I mean like, you know, you just need different options after close slash. You are getting really messed up on 2H. 
Um, not gonna lie, thank you for the sub, Chaos. I appreciate it. Um, I'll save that and then I will send that to you and then I'll publish the VOD after so you go back and watch it too. Um, other than that, I mean, you did, you did pretty good. I don't want to get too nitpicky. Again, I don't like getting too nitpicky on the VOD reviews just because, like, you know, you could go and nitpick, you know, problems all day. But I just want to find, like, a couple of main points that you could work on. So then next time you could work on better points and next time you could work on better points. A lot of people do have a really big trouble with the block string thing, though. Like... I think I think most people that send me a lot of you definitely have block string troubles. Um, I don't think they. Um, I, I think not understanding the RAM RPS is a mixture of that because I think a lot of people do like two H because they're like, oh, big counter hit, big counter hit, nice. But uh, I think once you understand the the block string pressure um, and RPS pressure. When you get later, um, you kind of under start understanding RAM pressure a little bit or better, but you don't actually have to understand that at this point. You're still you're still learning uh, kind of the basics, not the basics, but like you're still you're still learning um, playing the game. So I wouldn't worry too much about it um, well, right uh, now. I would just do the better block strings for now, and then like once you understand why, then you can start. Um, like I could explain why, because again, I, I kind of explained why you're kind of getting messed up on the, on the two H, right? So if you just do like the better ones and then once you'll figure out why, once you start doing the better ones, like the situations you put yourself in are going to be better.